This is a quick video on one of the interesting irregularities that has come out of the latest round of ICAC public hearings. One of the things that ICAC is focusing on is $5.5 million of public money given to the Australian Clay Target Association to upgrade their facilities in Wagga Wagga. The Member of Parliament who was seeking this funding was Daryl Maguire, who is at the centre of this ICAC investigation, and who was also, at the time, former Premier Gladys Berejiklian's boyfriend. Part of the investigation is focusing on whether a conflict of interest was overlooked when dealing with this proposal. But one of the reasons given to consider this funding was that the upgrade would allow Wagga Wagga to host part of the 2018 Invictus Games. The Invictus Games is a multinational sporting event and it was, in fact, held in Sydney in 2018. ICAC showed evidence of an announcement to the media by Daryl Maguire, which was called Exhibit 421, and it said that Daryl revealed that the city will bid to host the Invictus Games in 2018. But what I want to look at is the evidence to ICAC given by Michael Tui, a director within the Office of Sports, who looked at the business case. And then, but the the uh, the bigger claim was uh, for hosting the Invictus Games. I can't remember the status of, of Sydney's bid for the Invictus Games at that point. But more material was that Invictus Games doesn't have uh, shooting events. So it was the claim that this was somehow related to the bid was um, imaginative. And he's right. The Invictus Games have never had any shooting events, let alone clay shooting. So much for rigour around proposals within government. It's going to be interesting hearing from Daryl and Gladys when they appear as witnesses. Anyway, this was just a quick video on an interesting point, but if you're keeping an eye on the ICAC proceedings, I'm keen to hear your thoughts so far, so let me know in the comments.